Hello everybody, today I'm back with uh, another tutorial on my channel. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to install custom songs into Rocksmith 2014. Um, now this applies to any version of Rocksmith except the the demo, but I don't think there's a demo. So I have the Steam version, you can use the CD version, doesn't change. So, it's quite simple, you only need to install one file, and that's it. Well, two. So, first of all, of course, you need the base game. Uh, as I said, I have it on Steam, so I just buy it, download it, and it's ready to go. And the um, second thing you need is a DLC, like a, a song that you need to buy. Like here on Steam, it's like three, three twenty, three twenty right Canadian. It's like probably like two bucks US. I don't know. So um, you only need one. Uh, I said I highly su suggest a Cherry Rock by the Smashing Pumpkins, because uh, if nearly every well. Every DLC, every custom DLC is based on that song. So you won't have any trouble if you get that song, but you can get any other song and you can you can still have custom DLCs with any other DLC songs. It's just you only you only have a step more. But I don't I don't really know know how to do it. I'll probably like do a do a um do another tutorial for that. But um, as I said, you need a DLC. For now, you need Cherub Rock or any song that you would like. For example, if you don't like, if you don't like the Smashing Pumpkins, like for whatever, I don't know, um, Rush, just for fun. Wait, wait, wait. If I can actually, uh, like, like, let's say Tom Sawyer. If you want that song. If you want this song right here, for Rocksmith 2014, of course, it's gonna work. Like you won't have any problem, but you're gonna only gonna have one step more. So, once you have that, you need to install this little file, d3dx942.dll, and um, I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can download it. The, this is the exact file, and uh, what you need to do with that one is to put it in your Rocksmith 2014 game file. So, you want to go in your, your hard disk from files 86. Now, depending on where your game is located at, mine is at Steam, in Steam, Steam apps, common, Rocksmith 2014. Here are going to have a bunch of files. So, you want to put it right here with all of these. Now, I already have it, so I won't do it, but you put them right in here, and you won't have any problems. Now, we'll keep that open. We're going to need that, because we have a D like DLC folder here. I have a lot of songs, so. So, next step is to download songs. So, you want to go in on the website customs customsforge.com. Um, you do need to make an account. Like a, you do need to uh, sign sign in or whatever, but it's free. Don't worry. Just put your email and stuff, register, and that's it. You're, you're gonna be when you log in. You wanna press DLC, see DLC right here. It's gonna bring you to this page with a, lot, with a lot of songs. Now, one little problem that I had earlier is that if you're on Microsoft Edge, if you're on Windows 10 and you use Microsoft Edge. It will not work. The website is not yet. The website doesn't support Microsoft Edge. I've asked. I've emailed them and asked them what well, what the heck is going on, and they told me that Microsoft Edge isn't compatible with the website at this moment. So you can get Firefox, or if you're on Windows 7, uh, Internet Explorer is still gonna work, I think. But I. Use Firefox or Chrome. I prefer Firefox. So, when you're here, downloaded, you want to download a song. For example, I want some news just for fun. And there you have news. You do have to search. Uh, for example, I want the song Supremacy. Supremacy. 
My muse is right here. Now, did you do? You're gonna have to check if it's for PC. So of course, all of them are gonna be for PC. This method can be done on. No, 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 no. This method can be done on Mac too. I I think it's the same process. I don't know. You can do it on Xbox and PlayStation, but on console, you need to have a modded console. But I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now. Um, just one thing I'm going to add before we download any songs. Um, if you see DDD right here, it's dynamic dynamic difficulty. So um, if you have it or not, it, it's personal preference. But what it does, it's, it's like the game does. Changes the difficulty to your talent, of, to what you can do, what you can play, what you're able to play. And... Um, if you have it, if you have it, if the song has it, then it's gonna change the difficulty. But if it doesn't, like here, there's a few songs that don't. Um, it's it's at the max max difficulty and it's not gonna go below that. Uh, personally, I like more that because then it's more of a challenge, and it's way fun. It's way more fun. So um, now you would just want to download a song, and I'm just gonna go and subscribe. Like I'd add. You can click the plus, and it's gonna bring you to a download link, Dropbox, or Mediafire, or whatever. Now, for me, it doesn't work, but I'll just do that. Copy. Put it right here. Now, you should be brought to this. You're gonna have multiple versions of the game, of the, of the song, sorry, for of the song. Now, um, just take the newer version. Here, you're gonna have. Some people have four, some people have more, some people only have one or two versions. So here you want you want to have the PC version or the version that you you're on. So here, if it ends by M dot P P S arc, that's for Mac. The M is stands for Mac. Here it's the P is for PC. The other one's PlayStation 3, and the, the other one is Xbox. So you want to click on the PC or Mac or whatever, click and download. I'm not going to do that. I already have it. So once you have that, you can close that or go and get any new songs. I don't need this. Close that. So here we have our song, Supremacy. Now you want to go back to your game folder, game files, and you want to go in a folder called DLC. If you don't have it, create it. But I sh you sort of should have it if you bought um, your DLC song. So, all you want to do with your song, this file right here, take it, put it in here, and it's going to be right there. And uh, if you want to install more songs, you can. And there's, I don't think there's a limit. Like right here, I have 97, 97 custom songs. Custom songs. Only one, like, there's only one, one or two that are, that are, um, yeah, the two, because there's Trevor Brock right here, the DLC that we bought, and that one. So I have like 95 songs. So um, that's how you do it. I hope you guys liked. Uh, I hope this was uh, useful for all of you guitar learners. Um, I highly suggest that you get Rocksmith if you're playing on if you're playing guitar, and you're not that good, but you do want to learn songs and stuff like that. So. It's a really fun game. It's really, really, really fun game. It's, in my opinion, it's better than Guitar Hero, but hey, it's different. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked and um, leave a like, subscribe, or whatever you want. You do what you want. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, perhaps. Let's hope so, okay? Let's hope so.